Hello friends, this video on motion and time part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, when we talk about motion, another important, we, we are actually talking about movements or we are talking about position changes. So when it comes to movements, something which is very commonly being used in our day-to-day -day life is fast and slow. So how do we know which object is moving fast and which object is moving slow? So how, how exactly do we define that or how exactly do we determine that? What determines the speed of move motion? So that is where we introduce speed. So we will talk about speed a little later. But in this picture, what do you see? You observe that the blue car was fast and the red car was slow. So why was this an example of fast motion? Because it very quickly changed its position. So in a short interval of time, it reached from position A to position B. But, time, but the red car, it took more time to reach from position A to position B. So basically how much time it takes by a particular object to cover a particular distance will define whether that object is undergoing fast motion or slow motion. So that is where comes the concept of fast and slow. So let's look at this. I mean, how do we determine that which is faster? The distance moved by objects in a given interval of time decides which one is faster or slower. So let's look at this example. So you have a bike and you have a bicycle. So these are the two vehicles that you have. So now if you want to compare which of these two is faster. So let's try to compare these two vehicles. Now let's say that we fix a time interval. So let's say we, we fix a time interval of 5 minutes. And then we just observe how much distance is covered by this bike and how much distance is covered by this bicycle. Now what we see is that in 5 minutes this bike could cover a distance of around like just we'll just take examples let's say it covered a distance of 3 kilometers and in the same duration of 5 minutes this bicycle could cover a distance of 2 kilometers okay so which one is faster no the time interval is the same so in the same time the bike covered more distance when compared to the cycle. So that means the bike is faster. So the bike is traveling fast. That is why it could cover more distance in the same time when compared to the bicycle. So this is how we can determine which one is faster. So fast or slow is actually defined by the rate of change of position with time. That is how fast the position is changing with time. Because when we were talking about motion, we were only talking about the change in position with time. But when we talk about the fast or slow of a, a fast or slow speed of a vehicle, we are actually talking about the rate at which the position is changing with time. How fast or how slow the position changes with time. So that is how we can say that the bike is faster and the bicycle is slower. So this is where we introduce the term speed. So when we talk about fastness or slowness of motion, we have to introduce speed. So what is speed? It is the rate at which an object covers distance. That means how fast or how slow, how quickly or how slowly an object is able to cover distance with time. So Speed is a scalar quantity. What is a scalar quantity? It is such a quantity which only needs magnitude for its definition. That is just a value. So we say the speed of a vehicle is 5 meter per second. So that's the speed. So we do not need any direction. So it's these type of quantities are called scalar quantities. You will learn more about scalar and vector quantities in your higher classes. So let's look at an example to understand speed even better. So as I said, speed is nothing but the distance covered divided by the time taken. So this is how we calculate speed of an object. So let us take the example of this car. So if we say that this car travels 50 kilometers in one hour. So let us say that it travels 50 kilometers in 
one hour. So what would be the speed of the car? So the speed of the car is actually distance traveled, which is 50 kilometer divided by time taken, which is one hour. So basically the speed of the car would be 50 kilometers per hour. So that is how we define speed. Now any object which has a higher speed moves faster because it is traveling more distance over a specific period of time. Any object which has a lesser value of speed is traveling at a slow speed. So it has a slow motion. So that, that's about speed. So let us look at more examples of speed. So let's look at this example where this little boy is trying to travel from his home to the McDonald's. So the boy is on the bicycle so now this little boy is moving or he is traveling from his home to the McDonald's and this his travel time is 10 minutes. So it takes him 10 minutes to go from his house to the McDonald's and the distance between his house and the McDonald's is 2 kilometers. So the McDonald's is 2 kilometers away from his house. So if I ask you to calculate the speed with which the, the boy is moving, how will you do that? So the speed is nothing but the distance which he traveled which is nothing but 2 kilometers divided by the time which he took that is nothing but 10 minutes. So if you convert minutes to seconds, so it was going to be 10 by 60 hour. So this is going to be 12 kilometers per hour. So this is the speed with which the boy was moving when he traveled from his home to the McDonald's. So this defines, that means it now, what does this 12 kilometer per hour means? Now literally it means that the boy traveled in one hour 12 kilometers but actually he traveled only two kilometers but speed tells us that okay this is the rate at which he moved so had he traveled one had he traveled for one hour he could have covered 12 kilometers so it just gives you the rate it just gives you the distance which the person could have covered in one hour or in one second or in one minute so with respect to whichever unit of time you are referring to so that is how we calculate speed now similarly let's say that the boy also comes back from the McDonald's. So let's say we take another example where the boy goes to the McDonald's like he travels from his house to the McDonald's and then immediately he comes back from McDonald's to his house. And we say that the what would be the total distance. Now let's say the total distance of going and coming back would be 4 kilometers. Correct? And let's say that the total time that he took was say 30 minutes. Now we are assuming that he didn't get down at McDonald's at all. He just went there. But as soon as he reached, reached McDonald's, he changed his mind and he started coming back to home. So if we say that the time he took was 30 minutes, in that case, what would be the overall speed? So again, you can calculate it in a similar way, distance traveled by time taken. So I'm leaving that as an exercise to you. So I hope it is clear that how do we calculate speed and what is speed all about? What does speed tell us? It just tell us the distance that a particular object can cover in unit time, whether it is in one hour or in one second or in one minute. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.